hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley um this is a ts tech talk video and on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to resize um a widescreen video or a landscape size video into a portrait size video or a youtube recommended size video for shots now um let me quickly show you guys two different videos that i'm talking about now this is a video i actually recorded right there is a widescreen video you can see that if I upload this on YouTube, it's not going to accept it for um, YouTube short, but I can upload it on a normal YouTube upload. It's going to be accepted. Now, let me show you guys a uh, white, a portrait size video, which is the recommended size. This is actually the recommended size and you can notice it fits my screen properly. So let me go ahead and also show you guys even more example on YouTube. Now, if I try to upload um, those two videos, like um the game video i just showed you guys right now this is actually the game video i think this one now you notice the way it displays and it came in and this is actually displaying the shots section of the youtube now this is actually the youtube shot now let me go ahead and discard go back go back even more and then close that and then try to upload another video again and this is the widescreen video now, immediately you select the widescreen video, it will not be able to display as a shot. You notice right now, this is the normal uploading section of your YouTube video. You actually know the difference when you try to upload this for real. So that is the reason why we have to resize this video. And now let's go ahead and dive into resizing the video. So I'm going to actually make use of CapCut, which is actually um, a video I have, a video editor I have already recommended to you guys on previous videos. So I'm going to click on new folder and I'm going to choose that particular video that I want to resize. And then I'm going to click on add. Now, this is actually the exact video I want to resize to a short video. Now, um, the next thing you need to actually do is swipe left under this area where it says format. Click on the format and then choose the exact format for a portrait video or the accepted format video, which is 9 ratio 16. You can notice the way the size of the screen is. It's actually um, self-explanatory. So once you click on it, it makes it... Um, it displays the video for you and guys if for some reason you want the video to zoom in a little bit more you can click and then um i'm pinching my hand like with your two thumbs pinch it to the screen and then make it a bit bigger and then it's going to display a bit bigger but i think this is actually okay or rather um you can still make it big if you want it to be like this but i think um i'm okay with this one i prefer the size this is actually very perfect and then um click inside or anywhere inside the editor area and now uh, another thing i usually do or i like to do is i actually um always click on the canvas area and then click on blur and then when i choose blur i will select this particular blur option now you can notice it actually blurred my background instead of having a pure black background so if um for any reason you can always change the blurness or the size of the blurness i think this is actually perfect this is the exact one i usually use which is the third to the last but you can use this one one is also very perfect and once you're done click on apply it's going to apply to all and you can notice it displaying perfectly well for us and then i always used to delete this ending that displays cap cuts so that it won't display cap cut on the ending so this is actually all i want to show you guys and make sure guys you pay attention to the timing of your video now you notice the time of my video actually ended in 52 seconds which i'm very okay with that but if for some reason your own is more than 52 seconds you have to make your video less than one minute which is going to be 58 seconds so if you have that set just go ahead and click on upload and click on export and you can notice my video is being exported once the export has complete i can go over to the youtube and start uploading it and it's going to work just fine so let's just wait for it to complete and i'm going to show you guys how it works all right guys so um our, our export has completed i'm going to click on done and then i'm going to go outside and go over to the youtube section or the youtube application click on it to open and then click on the plus icon and now i'm going to choose um upload once more and choose that particular video i just rendered and you notice right now you notice right now it's displaying the preview which wasn't displaying before so when you click on next it's going to bring this option and which means confi which confirms that we are trying to upload a short video 
So um, once you click on upload, it's going to upload that particular video. And after you upload, you can be able to review it. And that is all I want to show you guys on today's video. And if, if this video is helpful, guys, please smash like, subscribe to the channel for more video. I will see you guys on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.